how to create a blog on Webflow. Hello guys and welcome to today's video. In today's video, we will be talking about our tutorial on how to create a blog on Webflow. If you're looking to start your own blog and showcase your content in a beautiful and customizable way, Webflow is an excellent platform to use. Webflow provides a powerful yet user-friendly interface that allows you to design and build website without the need for coding with its intuitive drag-and-drop functionalities and extensive design options. You can create a professional and unique blog that reflects your style and brand. Webflow also offers various dynamic features for your blog such as tags, categories, commenting system, and you can also create tags and categories to organize your blog posts and help visitors navigate through your content. Additionally, you can integrate third-party commenting systems like Discuss or Webflow's native commenting feature to encourage engagement and discussion on your blog. So let's get started. Now the first thing you're going to have to do is to go to webflow.com and then you're simply going to click on get started over here. By doing this, it will redirect you to the sign up page wherein you're going to have to enter your first name, last name, email, and then password over here and then click on create account. Or you can simply create an account through your Google account. Now after creating your account, you will be redirected to this page over here. This is the dashboard of Webflow wherein you will be able to see and edit the different website that you have created. As example over here, this is a website that I have created before. This is where you're going to see all the different websites that you have created just like I said earlier. And you could edit your website in this section over here. You can simply click on Open Designer which would redirect you to the editing page. Or you can simply click on the three dots. And then you could delete this, duplicate, move to folder, share, open it in editor or click the settings over here. To be able to create your own website or your blog website, you're simply going to click on new site over here on the right side. And then it will redirect you to this page wherein you're going to have to select a template for you to use with your blog website. As you can see here, there are a lot of templates that we will be able to use to start creating our website. Now most of this are paid. As you can see here, there's $79, $49 and different pricing over here. Now usually the best templates available are paid so it will be expensive to start and create your website but if you're willing to pay for the following prices over here you will be able to use amazing templates. There are also free templates as you can see here under the free templates. These are completely free you will be able to use them regardless of what you do with them. So this is what we're going to use for today's video. We're simply going to click on view all. And we will be able to see all the different templates available in Webflow for us to use. As you can see here, we have all of this option. Now right here on the left side, you will be able to notice this filter section. You could choose between the different tags over here, the different categories, language, style, features, all of those information. And you can simply filter out your different templates over here. Now for today's video, we will be creating a blog. So we're going to click on popular tags and click on blog. By doing this, we will be able to filter out all the different templates available in Webflow that are free for blog websites only. As you can see here, these are the different templates that are for blog. Now, a lot of these are paid. So I don't think there's a specific version wherein it is absolutely for free. So we're going to have to go back and stick with the free versions over here and unfortunately if you're trying to create or look for a blog website you're going to have to do it manually for example over here we have your portfolios blog this one's blog version over here so you can simply use this there's also moon over here lamar milton and these other options over here as you can see there's a tag that says blog so we will be able to use this so for example, I would like to use the Milton version over here. I'm simply going to click this to be able to access this specific template. And as you can see, you can simply click on use for free, which would allow us to use this specific template and start editing it for ourselves and then creating our own blog website using Webflow. So let's simply give it some time. As you can see here, we're going to have to name our site. You can name it whatever name you would like, but for us, we're going to stick with this one for now. 
then click on create site and then we're simply going to give it some time to process our information and then after this we will be redirected to the editing page so we're going to give it a few seconds or a few minutes depending on your internet speed and as you can see it's already setting it up we're simply going to give it some time once again it's going to take a while if and if ever your internet speed is a bit slow and just like that we can already see the outline and over here this is our editor page for webflow now there are a lot of things in our screen so it might be overwhelming for beginners but you will be able to easily use webflow by giving yourself time and effort to explore the different sections different settings different options that you could use and do with webflow and as you can see this is our blog template over here you can change the way you would like to view your website by simply clicking here on the top you can change it from laptop to tablet over here to phone and phone again here for portrait this is landscape mode this is portrait mode this is how people will be able to use your blog website this is how they will be able to view them and we're going to stick with the laptop for now to be able to edit your different components you're simply going to hover on the specific section that you would like to edit and you can simply click on them, the double click, and then you will be able to edit specific sections. As you can see, you can choose the heading type. Over here on the right side, there's more options like the blog title over here, layouts, display, spacing, size, and all of those information. You could also click on the image over here. You could see which page it will be redirected over here. As you can see, it is on the current blog post. There's also preload and you can see the link settings over here by clicking this they will be redirected to the specific link now over here on the left side you will be able to see the navigator and this is what we are seeing right now you can see the entire body and you also see the collect list wrapper all of these options over here this is where you are going to be able to manage the different options the different links the different pages that is being use in your website over here it's going to be a bit confusing but everything is there you could also add elements over here on this section on the add section you could add elements layouts basic elements over here typography like heading paragraph text link text blocks and quotes and rich text over here you could add cms you could add media you could add your forms over here if you would like you have your advanced section over here there's also different layouts for you to use easily. You could browse more in the libraries if you would like to use different layouts over here. There's also different sections over here. You could see your pages in this section by clicking this uh, page button over here. You could see your home, your about page. You could see it will redirect you every time you select a page over here. Your contact, your all posts over here. As you can see here, this is a page wherein you could see all your posts over here. There's also cms collection and users over here there's a lot of options that you could meddle with and play around with it is very easy to use and navigate through the different elements of web flow over here you could also double click this section over here which would allow you to edit the specific section as you can see you will be able to change the information if you want by doing this there's also a lot of information that you could change simply click on them and it will be able to appear here on the right side where you could edit it with more settings you could see the design over here the style the settings over here the style manager and there's also interactions over here like element trigger page trigger all of those stuff and after editing your website after making sure that everything that you would like to add and edit is here you can simply click on publish over here on the top right and you could either publish it with the staging option or the production option which would use a custom domain if ever you have one and we're simply going to click on publish and select and as you can see it is currently publishing our website over here and after that you can simply see over here you could unpublish it if you want or you could visit it by clicking on the link over here and you will be able to see your website in this section and it will be fully functional as you can see here you could edit everything that you would like to do and as you can see, I could go back to the home page and go to another website just like this. You could edit every single component if you're being confused, like for this one. You could check them out on your pages or your different navigator over here so that you will be able to navigate to the specific page and then edit the content into the page of your blog content. And then 
you can simply edit whatever single part you want and after that you can simply publish it and then send it to whatever location that you would like to post this and that's it guys hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching